Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Daniel Tiger and his family are going for a ride in their Fisher Price SUV. And there's a stereo that plays music. And there are the seats. Everybody must buckle in. Owl sits in the back seat. And there's also two baby car seats. One for baby Margaret, but she's at a friend's today. Let's go on our journey. Everyone in the car. Toggy rides in the little baby car seat. Daniel Tiger hops in beside Owl. And his mom says, buckle your seatbelt. Let's shut the door. Daddy Tiger's driving today. The tiger family arrives in the forest of fairies. The fairy's going to read a story to us today. Daniel, Owl, and Tiggy rest alongside a soft pine cone. Matilda the fairy has three forest friends. There's green Mr. Turtle, and he hides out in the leaves. There's Little Blue Mr. Frog and Mr. Bear. He loves honey. Okay, Matilda the Fairy is ready to read today's story. The book is called Swing and all of the pictures move when we move the book. There's a boy playing baseball and he's swinging his bat. Can you swing a baseball bat? Woom, whoosh, whack. Can you kick a soccer ball? Froom, boom, smack. Can you ride a bicycle? Spin, vrim, Vroom! Can you run a relay race? Zip, zoop, zoom. Can you cartwheel through the air? Hop, loop, whirl. Can you spin around on ice? Slide, glide, twirl. Can you swim across a pool? Splish, splash, flop. If you can cartwheel, shoot a basket, swing a bat, or kick a ball. If you can swim and spin around and ride a bike without a fall, then give yourself a great big cheer, a hip hip hooray. A superstar is what you are. Now let's go out and play. What a fun story. Thank you so much for reading to us today, Matilda the Fairy. It's time for us to go. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Kitty and we have a purple sparkly Polly Pocket case with little tiny Polly Pocket doll. It's the party time surprise 30th anniversary. We're going to open it up and have a look. You know how I love miniature little treasures. And there is our Polly Pocket bedroom. 
and then we have the toilet with the sink for her washroom. The next level is the party room. There's where the DJ runs the music and she spins as she dances on the dance floor. She spins in her white tutu. Now let's head downstairs and you can see that she has food and drinks out for the guests and a big pink cake. There's a spot for her in between the two purple chairs. What flavor of cake do you think she has? Maybe it's chocolate or vanilla or red velvet? Let's open her big purple gift with the gold bow. It's something she's always wanted. It's so tiny my fingers can't even grip the toy. Tip it over and pour it out. There we go. She has a little golden teddy bear and she loves to sleep with a stuffy at night. It makes her feel happy and comfortable and safe. And it fits right in the purple chair. All right, it's time Polly to go outside and explore the fairy garden. Let's go show the tiny fans. We'll go at the little pink door. Which way does it go? There we go. And here we are in Fairyland where there are so many tiny little things to explore. The first thing I'll show you is a little lizard that pops out when I move this little arm. Do you see it? It's yellow. We can also explore the cottages. Let's open up the yellow roof. Ooh, this cottage is quite dirty and is going to need a cleaning. There's a little book on the yellow table. Oh, look, it's a 3D rainbow. I would love a book like that. And there's a little oven that opens. Let's see if I can get the door to open. What's cooking? Did you notice the tree? If we move his arms up and down, he closes his eyes and goes to sleep. Polly's gonna go down the slide. Ready, set, go, wee. Lift the little arm so she can get by and follow the pink path to say hello to the turtle in the pond. Hello. What's through here? It's the gazebo and a secret door opens. She says hello to the orange squirrel and then to the little bird. There are so many little creatures around here. There's a purple cottage with a pink roof. What's inside? A vanity where she can sit down and do her hair. I see a clock and a television and a lamp. Thank you for the tour today, Polly. And we played some hide and seek with our Dora doll. Did you spot the doll somewhere earlier in the video? And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hola and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Dora is going to make some magic happen with our little Playmobil set. But first, let's explore the animals. Dora has found two geese. What is that in Spanish, Dora? Ganzos. Dora, don't get too close. You don't want to get sprayed by the skunk. What is skunk in Spanish? Zorillo. And finally, Dora spots two white rabbits in the grass. What is rabbit in Spanish? Conejo. Oh, Dora has spotted one more animal. 
She's hiding behind the tree so she doesn't scare it. It's a deer and it's eating the grass. Time to look at the magic spells. We add a little bit of flowers, some leaves, and a mushroom cap to the green cauldron. Can't forget the magic glitter. The fairy stirs the potion and magically, the potion transforms into something beautiful. It looks like silver. Let's get it out of the cauldron. Dora and the fairy created a little metal fairy statue and she's holding a jewel. It's a gift for Dora from the fairies. And now the wizard has a gift for her as well. He has some hidden stones underneath. Dora picks one stone, a purple one. Dora remembers to use her manners and says thank you in Spanish. Gracias, she says. Okay, tiny fans, did you spot the miniature Dora doll somewhere earlier in the video? If not, you can go back and have a look. And it's that time again where we open a chocolate door. Sis, that's six. Dora found door sis. Let's see what's behind the door. Oops. It's a little torn, but that's okay. Oh, it's another shiny green pack. Oh, sorry, Dora, are you okay? I accidentally knocked her over. Let's open up the chocolate. And we have another Ferris wheel. How many Ferris wheels have we opened so far, tiny fans? We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his family are visiting a garden with a beautiful tree house. We're also going to visit a real garden. This tree house has a beautiful rainbow coming out the side. Baby Margaret loves to smell flowers. Mmm, the pink and white flower is so fragrant. Hey, look over there, I see a glass sculpture, says Daniel Tiger. Each sculpture is very unique and handmade with glass. Glass can be almost any color of the rainbow. What does this yellow sculpture look like to you? Daniel Tiger sees a little pond with a frog on a lily pad. There are even little glass sculptures on the mossy rocks and in the pond. Look closely and you might spot the whale tail. Do you see it? Hey, look over there, Dad. I see a fuzzy caterpillar. It's orange and black. They look exactly like the woolly bear caterpillars we have in our garden. Remember when all the caterpillars were on the Ninky Nonk train track? And the Ninky Nonk couldn't get by. Eventually, these caterpillars will turn into a tiger moth and fly away. We love exploring gardens in the outdoors. It's time to sign the guest book. We've really enjoyed our visit and thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. 
Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are sitting around Mr. Magic Tree. All of a sudden, Poe disappeared and turned into a big crystal blue ball. Mr. Magic Tree said the only way they can get their friend Poe back is to go through the fairy door and find the magic fairy book in the fairy house. There's the door, with a sign that says, Believe in fairies? They hope you do. Make a wish. It might come true. The Teletubbies enter the door. And it takes them to a magical fairy land. Look, there's a rainbow unicorn in the field. The Teletubbies search for a fairy home. Maybe over here. They find a table with fruit inside a basket. But they don't take the fruit because they don't know who it belongs to or where it's come from. Lala walks right up to the fairy house. Now we need to search for the magic fairy book. Can you help us, tiny fans? Hmm, there's a milk bottle and a little sink, chair, a beautiful painting of a fairy, and what's up the ladder? It's a little bedroom. The Teletubbies look upstairs and downstairs, but they can't find the magic fairy book. Under the table? How about over here? Oh, there are two books. Lala spots a book under the counter. This is it! The magic blue fairy book. The Teletubbies must get back to Mr. Magic Tree. Mr. Magic Tree uses the magic book to turn Poe back into herself again. Teletubbies are so happy to have their friend back. But Poe wakes up and realizes that was all a dream and there's no such thing as magic fairy books. Okay, tiny fans, it's quiz time. What three different fruits were in the bowl in the fairyland? If you don't know, have a look back. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going into a magical world in the forest. We're even going to explore the castle. Do you see the dragon on the top? Don't be afraid. He's not real. We are greeted at the gates by a famous character. It's Humpty Dumpty. Wash your hands, cup your hands, drink the Mountain Dew. Be sure to make a special wish. Who knows? It might come true. And this is the entrance to the castle. I see an alligator down below in the swamp. Good thing there's a bridge leading to the castle. And inside the castle lives a wizard. He has a glowing magic ball. He's telling us about the magical forest. I'm the king of the castle. The Teletubbies are at the top. But let's start our journey through the forest. Hey, look, Lala. Merry, merry, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? with silver bells and cockle shells, and pretty maids all in a row. Look, Teletubbies, a house that's just the right size for you. But somebody already lives here. Next, we see a red barn and a red button. When you push it, the farmer starts talking to the rooster. There are a lot of eggs, but did you know, tiny fans, roosters can't lay eggs? They are male chickens. Tiny Treasures Minnie is having fun with the red digger. We scoop up the sand and we're going to bury a Teletubby. 
Who is it? Sorry, Tinky Winky. The enchanted egg. And what a beautiful egg it is. There's a little window to look inside. I see little gnomes in a village. And speaking of gnomes, they're all over the forest. This one's under a beautiful rainbow. Do you know the story of the woman who lives in the shoe? She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. And there are all of the kids' clothes hanging to dry. Let's go inside the shoe. It's just big enough for me to fit. And there are children everywhere inside. Let's see if I can get up the stairs. Oh, yep, there's another child. And Lala made it to the top. Hi, Lala. There's a slide out back. Come on down, Teletubbies. We found another little house, perfect for the Teletubbies. What's inside? This gnome is playing hide-and-go-seek by the tree. We had a great day in our magical forest. It's time to leave through the blue tunnel. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Okay, Bluey, it's springtime. It's time to clean up the leaves. Cleaning up the leaves will allow new plants to grow. Sure thing, Mom. I love to be outside. And I love to have my feet on the grass and the ground. Oh, I got a whole pile, Mom. Good job, Bluey. These leaves will break down into soil when we add them to our compost and we can use them next year in our garden. But Mom, we're not done. Look, there's still little bits of leaves. Oh no, that's okay, Bluey. The worms will break those little bits down and they'll just turn into soil. Let's add some ornaments. How about this beautiful purple crystal? And a heart-shaped white stone. A beautiful seashell. A pink quartz tower. And for a little color, a yellow ceramic flower. And two little fairies to make it a fairy garden. Well, thanks for your help today, Bluey. Our garden is finished. Now let's go inside and have a healthy snack. Oh, yay, Mom, can we have watermelon? Oh, sure, that sounds delicious. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you.